Here we are in wonderful, beautiful Chautauqua. 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 Bit of history. Bit of history. I'm not gonna sing it. Why? It's a good song, voice. man. Yeah. Okay. So, anyway, so, so you know, you know, people in Chautauqua. People in Chautauqua are not bad people. No, they're not. <laughs> people in Chautauqua are quite the opposite of bad people. I mean, I can't... The last time a major big crime probably happened here was like five never. billion years yeah. ago or When a never. dinosaur killed another dinosaur. <laughs> exactly. That's probably the last big fucking murder that happened here. So, oh, so we edit that out because I said... Oh. Alright. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so... Anyways, like, so why the hell do we need bike cops? Okay, bike cops are these guys. They walk around, they wear these really tight, tight yellow, bright yellow shirts. They bike patrol. Yes, yeah, so it says bike patrol I think on so the special back. because they have a and, little shirt. And, and they're riding and they ride their bikes around. around the one way streets and everything, making sure no one goes down the one way streets. Yeah, nobody. It's, it's and, tough. The, and the fact that like everybody rides their bikes in Chautauqua. Almost nobody drives cars. Everybody rides their bikes. So you know, going up the one way street that is very terrible. It, it's <laughs> just it's horrendous crime that needs to be stopped immediately. So, so that's what they spend their time doing. Yeah, and also, lights. like when we when we run stop signs and stuff, and they come and ask us for our for our gate passes, you know, ridiculous. It's it's like, dude, fuck you. And we're like, is there a problem? And he said, yes, you ran a stop sign. We're like, what the hell? We ran a stop, stop sign. sign. Yeah. What, what are you gonna do? <laughs> we're on this bikes. man, officer. Okay. So anyway, the other night we were. Uh, we were at the, there's this really cool play, playground, I'll hopefully show it to you guys in another video. It's just like ropes, it's all ropes, like everything is ropes. It's ridiculous. It's awesome. So we were sitting there, it was probably, I don't know what, like 9.30 9 or something. 9.45. 45. And, and so, and so like, we were, we were sitting there, and these three bike cops walk up, and they start, and they have these shine the lights fly, in our faces. flashlights, and they were shining the lights in our faces. They're like, dude, what if I Ask fell off? for our gate passes. Yeah. No, actually, I didn't say that. Anyways, so they were like, he was like, so, how are you guys? And we're like, oh, good. And Ben's like, is there a problem, officer? And he's like, yeah, we we had some tips about some people uh, smoking dope over here. Smoking dope, doing drugs? I'm like, in Chautauqua? <laughs> people exactly. don't smoke dope. Yeah, no, we should have been like, should be like, right, have you been smoking dope up here? What? <laughs> I said, have you been struggling? What? You look funny, man. You're not moving around. Boys, I'm gonna need you guys to come down here. I'm a monkey! Whee! He's been climbing through the ropes. Because <laughs> nobody smokes dope in Chautauqua. Nobody. Nobody does anything in Chautauqua. It's right. <laughs> a bunch of preps go around and play golf in Chautauqua and sometimes they go over the par line. That That's the biggest crime that's been committed in Chautauqua for the past 20 years. Yeah. So oh, like 20 years ago there was this big crime man. There's some guy who was riding up the one way street and he ran a stop sign. <laughs> oh are you see on the one way street. I've never heard about the that. Biggest crime oh my season. god. Oh god, it was unbelievable. Bike cops went crazy. Because wow. they have real jobs. And they actually do they contribute to they're, society. They're like a step bike cops are like a step down from civilians, you know? They're, they're, they're like they're like, it's like it's not even like they're actually like like below officers. They're just they're below people. <laughs> they're like the scum of the earth that you that you like spit on when you need a place to spit. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. They're, they're terrible, terrible people. They go around there acting so special. I'm a white cop. It's not easy being a white cop on the streets of Chautauqua. Really? Because all we, have so, we have all these badass kids over here. Man, we have one way streets like you wouldn't believe. It's not easy. <laughs> I had a life once. <laughs> Before I became a bike cop. <laughs> Ever since then, it, it hasn't been the same. So anyway, that that reminded me of a time last year that like I was riding my bike down on the waterfront. And the other dumb rule about stop where you have to have a light after like eight o'clock. It can be bright as anything. This the sun doesn't set till like nine thirty. Eight o'clock, you have a light. You have to have your light on your bike and on. And you know, I have one of the I have a racing bike with like the elephant. elephant it's the handlebars. Awesome so, so how am I supposed to put a light on those? You know. So, anyways, I didn't have that last year, but I was riding on the waterfront, and I think that same cop that stopped us 
for riding for running a stop sign. <laughs> I think he. I'm pretty sure he was the same one that stopped me last year on the waterfront, and he was like. He gave me this huge, long speech about why I needed to have a light on my bike, and I couldn't remember what it was, so Ben kind of... Yeah. He made it I, up. It's like, what are you going to say when nobody has a light on their bike? Like, like, what do they do? What are you going to say? Man? It's like, you go up to them, Son, I realize you didn't have a light on your bike. This is a sad day for Americans everywhere, son. I bet you're a disgrace to your family, you know. <laughs> See, America was built on a principle. A principle that everybody need to have a light on his bike. Everybody. George Washington had a light on his bike. Do you want to have a light on your bike? I'm like, 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 what are you gonna say? I'm sorry, I, I don't, I don't have a light on my bike. I feel so, I feel so terrible. So it's like, you know, you know who didn't have a light on their bike? Saddam Hussein. So if you don't have a light on your bike, you are a terrorist. I hope you realize that, son. Now, I never want to see you without a light on your bike again, or I, I, I will take you downtown. I will keep you there for like at least 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Maybe even 15. And if give you, and write you a ticket for $5. I'll write you a little ticket for $5. I'll take a half hour to fill this little $5 ticket that you're never going to pay. <laughs> I hope you've learned a valuable lesson today, son. So next time you and your friends are hanging out, hey, hey, let's go ride without a light. Yeah, that's cool, man. I want you to say no. I have principles. I have I have understanding of the American dream. <laughs> like seriously, can you, what are you gonna say if a bike cop like yells at you for having a light? You're just gonna laugh. Son, you don't have a light. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, and then there are these other people, these old people walking around who think that they're bike cops. Get and a they're, light, they're buddy, like, get a light, little son. You're gonna kill somebody. I love it, oh, I love it when someone says get a light, and then, and then I love when someone just says get a light. And just run right by the stop sign. Run yeah, right by that. Up on one way street. Yeah, right back. Up the one way street. I love that. Oh yeah. my god. I can't stand people who tell you to get a light. I feel so terrible. So anyway, that is our Chautauqua moment for this week. Maybe That's we'll have a moment. we'll have a better one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll have a few more coming to you. A lot more. Hopefully Sexy a lot more. Okay, yes, go. All right, wait, guys. wait, wait, we're going to edit this out. Yes, editing is the key to everything. Maybe. Okay, so anyways. Are you going to... Okay. Are you going to keep this out there? Maybe. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, hello. It's good that we can edit it out, though. It's good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, of course, editing is awesome. Nice.